Last week, Missouri's Attorney General Andrew Bailey issued an order that effectively bans gender-affirming care for all trans people. Yes, that includes adults. Now it institutes a mandatory three-year waiting period for HRT. It also requires screenings for autism and social contagion. And this goes into effect on April 27th less than a week from today. And it's going to force thousands upon thousands of trans people in the state to detransition. And I just want to emphasize here that this is one person who unilaterally made this healthcare decision for thousands of people in the state. One man is in a position of authority to prohibit medically necessary healthcare that is life-saving according to multiple studies and experts. That's all it took. And I want to go beyond the headlines and listen to a plea from Milo, who's an 18-year-old directly affected by this, because I think that his story, it needs to be heard by more people. So let's listen. I'm an 18-year-old high school senior in Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> and I'm scared. And I don't know what to do. Testosterone has been life-saving for me. Taking me off of testosterone now is taking away my happiness. It's taking away my health care. I'm a legal adult. I can make my own decisions. I don't know for sure because I haven't been able to get in contact with my provider. But it looks like I will have to detransition for the time being. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. I don't... I don't know. I'm going to college in Missouri, so I can't even get out. I've already committed to Kansas City Art Institute, and I don't want to give up my dream of going to art school. I have scholarships. I have, I've already committed. It's all in the line. I don't want to have to give up my dream just to get out of this hellhole. And I don't know what to do. I really don't. I'm a legal adult. I can make my own decisions. But you are forcing me to make really fucking hard decisions. You are taking away my rights, my health care. It's not fair. I know that it is easy to become desensitized to headlines when we see the same thing so frequently, but don't allow yourself to become numb to this, numb to other people's suffering. Republicans are inflicting pain and suffering on trans people around the country, and this is going to kill some of them. And we need to be very clear about this. This is a genocide. And if you think that that's too much of a stretch or hyperbolic, I'd implore you to educate yourself about the history of genocides and you'd see that it is a gradual process. It doesn't just happen all at once. We are in stage seven, arguably, of a transgenocide here in the United States, and it keeps getting worse. Now, Missouri's attorney general also decided to set up a tip line so residents can report trans activity to the state. As Pink News explains, the Transgender Center Concerns Forum has gone live on the website of Republican Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey, urging residents to, quote, submit a complaint or concern about gender transition intervention you have experienced or observed in Missouri. Now, Truthout adds, Bailey's office claimed that the forum was created partly in response to allegations about a children's hospital that provides gender-affirming care to children and teens in the St. Louis area. The Attorney General cited a whistleblower who recently alleged that the transgender center at St. Louis Children's Hospital used experimental drugs on children and gave them treatment without parental consent. The whistleblower, whose credentials have been called into question, also claimed that the hospital inappropriately pressured parents and their children into seeking gender-affirming care. Parents whose children have been treated at the hospital, however, have contradicted those claims. The 
St. Louis Post-Dispatch interviewed close to two dozen families who went to the St. Louis Children's Hospital seeking gender-affirming care treatment for their transgender children. Those parents similarly doubted the accuracy of the whistleblower's claims. The whistleblower in question, a former employee of the transgender center named Jamie Reed, was in charge of patient intake and scheduling and did not have direct knowledge of what patients and their parents discussed with doctors behind closed doors, the Post-Dispatch reported. Reed's claims have also been disputed by former employees of the center who worked alongside her at the hospital. Quote, I feel like I could go line by line to her affidavit and debunk it all. Jess Jones, a former employee of the center and co-worker of Reed, told the Missouri Independent. So understand, this entire tip line was set up because of one person whose claims have been disputed by families and co-workers. This individual who probably got radicalized by Matt Walsh, who is not privy to conversations between doctors and parents and knows nothing about the treatments, made this allegation, came out and positioned themselves as a whistleblower. And the attorney general said, okay, well, even though everyone else is saying this and you're saying something different, let's go with what you're saying. Let's set up this tip line based on your allegations. It's just... It's ridiculous. Now, we are going to get to the fun part of this video here in a moment where trans allies predictably flooded this hotline with fake complaints, but I don't want to just like gloss over the gravity of this situation. Let's look at the tip line here. As you can see, he is asking you to submit a complaint or concern about a gender transition intervention. And the goal here presumably is to get neighbors to snitch on each other. So if you are a conservative who knows a parent that sought gender affirming care for their trans child, well, now you can easily report them or their pediatrician to the state. And as John Fork Brown Gun Club put it, we are now in the turn your neighbor into the state for being trans stage of genocide. Also, if you have some free time, please feel free to fuck up this disgusting police state informer website. Yeah, and that is exactly what people did. So let's look at some of these responses that people submitted to this tip line. This person just submitted a tip as Ligma Balls, which I think is definitely based. This person reported a Catholic priest. Uh, love this one here. There are too many men getting gender-affirming care via Viagra. Clearly, God wants them to have a limp dick. Please ensure that they are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. True. June writes, I saw Josh Holly running around in a dress on the northern outskirts of Stockton Lake earlier this afternoon, and it deeply scared both my five-year-old daughter and 17-year-old son. Please get this man out of office immediately. In fact, this particular complaint inspired mine, but we'll get to mine in a moment here. Uh, this person simply said, fuck you. Another person sent a dick and balls and uh, talked about dick and balls quite a bit. Uh, this person added, I found something incredibly concerning going on in Missouri. Missouri. I'm the cause of the concern. I'm stealing everyone's gender, and there's frankly nothing you can do about it. Very based here. And last but not least, this is my contribution. To whom it may concern, I saw something deeply unholy yesterday at the state capitol that deeply offended me as a Christian woman. I saw a man wearing a dress sucking off a dildo furiously. He was literally deep-throating all 12 inches and gagging loudly. I only caught a brief glimpse of it, but I believe this man is actually State Attorney General Andrew Bailey. Please take action immediately and remove him from office. If he wants to suck off dildos, he can do that on his own time. Yeah. So there you have it. If you decide yourself to report anti-trans activity to Missouri's fascist tip line, make sure that you uh, share the message that you sent to them in the comment section down below, because I, for one, would love to read that. And I'm sure that everybody watching would like to see what you sent as well.